Hikari, Hikari and Ari's Ikimono English! Yay! Yay. <laughs> We're talking about the clownfish. clownfish. Clownfish? Why are they called clownfish? Because when they swim, they kind of look like a clown. Like this? <laughs> Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where do they live? Clownfish. They live in the shallow uh, coral reefs in all of the world. What do they eat? Clownfish, depending on the species, but they can eat tiny little shrimps, they can eat plankton, and they can also eat algae as well, depending on the species. How big do they get? The clownfish, they can grow up to about 10 centimeters. Mm -hmm. Pretty small fish. Mm. Tell us something about the clownfish. Clownfish, when they're born, they're actually all males, but as they grow, up mm. as they mature they can turn into a female transgender. transgender yeah they can actually wow. change their gender all right let's go to the next okay. one okay all right let's go yeah. Yeah. today we're talking about the dorado Dragon. this guy this guy that's the dorado so Ari, what does the name mean the so dorado actually means golden color in south america golden so actually the color does depend on you know what they eat and the environment and there's a few different species where do they live so the dorado they live in the amazon river in south america <laughs> what do they eat so the dorado fish they eat um, crustaceans so crabs and shrimp, they also eat other fish and they also eat insects. Uh, how big do they get? So the dorado fish, they can get up to one meter long. Wow! Yeah, they're actually big. really big fish. Uh -huh. Yeah, so they can get a lot bigger. Alright, so the dorado, they can actually jump really high. They can actually jump <laughs> really high. They kind of look like salmon that we yeah. eat, but they're actually not related to salmon. They're closely related to the kerosin, like a neon tetra. Um, cardinal tetras, raminos, some tropical fish that you can actually see at the pet store. I've seen in the pet store. Yeah, already. they're actually right, closely the related. Blue and red. Yeah, the blue fish, and red right? cute fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're the similar species. Wow, the size is so different, right? Yeah, I know. All right, so that's it about the Dorado. All right, let's go to the next letter. Okay. Hey, we're talking about the eagle ray. So this is the eagle ray. Why are they called eagles? They're called like the eagle because look, they glide through the water uh -huh. like an they eagle did. in the sky. That's why they're called the eagle ray. What do they eat? So the eagle rays, they eat ground dwelling animals. So animals that live on the ground, such as crustaceans like crabs and shrimps, and also mollusks like shells. That's what they eat. Wow. Yeah. Where do they live? So the eagle rays, they live in the shallow waters all around the Pacific Ocean, including Japan. How big do they get? So the eagle rays, their wingspan, that, that can get up to about one meter long. About, oh about this. <laughs> Tell us something about the Eagle ray. Eagle ray, if you look at their mouth, they actually have a very strong and hard mouth that crushes through the really hard shells and of the crabs and the mollusks. And they also have a venomous needle on their tail. Have a look at that. So that could sting you and it could be very, very dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> Tell everyone I love them. Keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. <laughs> Alright, so today we're talking about the flagtail surgeon fish. This is the flagtail surgeon fish. So where do they live? So the flagtail surgeon fish, they live in the coral reef of the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. In Australia as well. In Australia, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do they eat? Flagtail surgeon fish, they eat a lot of stuff, but they actually really like eating seaweeds and algae. How big do they get? So they can get up to about 25 centimeters. Tell us something about the flagtail surgeon fish. Alright, so if you have a look at their tail, they actually have a set of spikes and they use this spike to protect themselves. <laughs> <laughs> they have a spike like this. Like this. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. We are looking at ghost sharks. Ghost. Here? Yeah. Look at it. Right here, this is the ghost shark. So they have the name the ghost shark because they kind of look like a ghost. Wow. 
Whoa, so spooky. Yeah. So spooky. <laughs> the relatives of the ghost shark, they're also called the rabbit fish or the rat fish. But this ghost shark, they actually have a different name called the elephant shark. This guy is elephant. Yeah, this guy's elephant. <laughs> That's so confusing though. <laughs> And the ghost shark, they have the name the elephant shark because they have a nose that kind of look like an elephant tusk. So where do they live? Ghost shark, they live in the southern Australian sea and also New Zealand. So they can live in the shallow waters, but they can actually dive right down to 200 meters deep. The deep sea. Deep sea, yeah, exactly. Wow. What do they eat? The ghost sharks, they eat um, animals that live on the bottom of the sea, like shrimp, crabs, and shells bivalves, mollusks. But there's a lot of mystery in the ghost shark and we actually don't know exactly what they eat. Because they're living in deep sea. Yeah, because they live in the deep sea. That's exactly. <laughs> well, you're getting Thank smarter. You. Thank you. <laughs> How big do they get? So the ghost sharks, they can get up to about 70 centimeters, about maybe about this big. And the females are actually larger than the males. Tell us something about the ghost sharks. So the elephant sharks, they use their nostrils as a sensory organ. So they use it to look for food that's hiding in the sand. I thought that was just accessory. It's actually not just <laughs> not. an accessory. It's very important. See you next time. See you next time.